Good evening to everybody. Well, welcome back again. For me, it's a big pleasure to, to be here again, sharing with you my knowledge and my passion about working with Invisalign Orthodontics. And I want to share with you a, a nice and beautiful case where I can show you the, you know, how powerful are the, the aligners when you do a good planification with them and you do a good treatment plan. As I always say, the success of your cases with Invisalign depends only on the planification that you do and the time and the effort you invest in the cases, okay? You control, that's a, a really good thing with Invisalign, you control your cases like you do with braces, okay? You have absolutely the control of your cases, so you, ha you can, you know, modify and do all the things that you know in order to obtain the best results with the aligners, okay? I always say that there are no limits with Invisalign. You have to understand what are the biomechanics working with Invisalign that working with braces, but when you understand the, the difference between braces and Invisalign, you immediately, immediately see the, how powerful are the liners, okay? So let me show you uh, this beautiful case of this woman who came to our office uh, presenting a difficult uh, and a severe class two. You can see the extra oral pictures and the, you know, for me, the, the, the picture that gives us a lot of information is the picture of the profile you can see where is the mandible is you know we have a posterior position of the mandible a vertical pattern okay and this is the the, the situation that we have in the in the mouth uh, she, as something curious she was treated with orthodontics uh, like three four years ago with braces and you know you can see the disaster that she present after a few years okay so look at the full class two that she has in both sides, uh, several midline deviation and also the lateral side position in, and in a high position if we take reference with the central incisors, okay? And this is the view that we have with the clean check where you can see how several is the class two that we have in both sides even bigger in the in the left side and look of course at the big uh, overjet that we have in this case so it's, it's you know it's a huge class two when we analyze something that for me is really important we can see the the shape of the arcs where you can see a big compression in the upper arc also the upper molars are rotated and we have upper and lower arc, they are not coordinated so, and as I always say, if you have seen me before in, in, in some lecture or you have read something about me, you know that I put all my effort, effort always uh, doing a good designing and a good development on the shape of the arcs before solving other, any other problems, okay? The first thing that we have to do is to develop a perfect and a beautiful arc shape in the upper and lower arc coordinated and if you do that, solving the vertical problems and solving the sagittal problems will be much easier, okay? Look at the huge overjet that she has at the beginning, more than 10 millimeters of overjet. Look at this amazing, the, the big overjet that she has. And of course, if we analyze also the smile, we have a really narrow arc in the upper and the lower arc, that's why we have these huge holes here that it's giving us a lot of information about mm, well this mouse is telling me Dr. Diego please make a big expansion because I need to develop the arc shape in order to to create the space to 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 look for advance in the in the mandible okay this is the the x-ray where you can see the vertical pattern, the several vertical pattern of the, of the patient and also you can see here well, the, the x-ray where you can, you can see the four wisdom molars. 
this is the comparison between the profile of the patient and the and the bone of the x-ray where you can see this vertical vertical pattern that we have and look here the huge proclination that we have in the upper and the lower incisors uh, in this x-ray for me it gives me a lot of information how what is the inclination of the lower incisor look at the bone we don't have bone here and of course this it gives me a lot of information because remember to solve a, a class a class 2 is really important to control not only the transversal position of the of the upper arm also it's really important to control the vertical position of the lower incisor in order to allow the mandible to advance and to solve this uh, class 2 okay at the beginning of the treatment when we send the first indication Invisalign sent me these first attachments and you can see here these attachments here in the incision and they didn't put any attachments in the posterior teeth I did some modification where you can see I put some attachments in the posterior teeth and I also add some IPR in the lower in the lower incisor in order to reduce the the vertical position and the proclination of the lower incisor and you can see here that I eliminate also the the attachments in the in the central incisor I try to avoid attachments in the central incisors because you know uh, patients like this they are really embarrassed about her smile so I try to to reduce the the things that that they show in the smile so at the beginning if it's possible I try to avoid attachments at least in the in the central incisor okay so this is what I, I I plan going from this view that we have in the left to this view that we have on, on the right you can see how I control the vertical position of the, of the upper incision and I look for an, an advance of the mandible with the crest elastics okay and in the left view exactly the same okay I did the arc shape development I level this upper central incisor I control the lower incisor proclination and I use, I use class two elastics to solve this, this problem, okay? Of course, I did the, a good planification and modification of the arc shape and uh, I did some IPR to control the vertical position, okay? This is the final position that I'm looking for after the, the, the virtual jam where I solve the class 2 okay I want to finish the case with this two millimeters of overjet because I know that if the patient uses the class 2 elastic at, in the reality I'm going to, to to have at the end less than these two millimeters so I like to finish in these cases the the clean check with these two millimeters of overjet okay and you can see here uh, what I did in this video you can see what I did Okay, this is the initial situation where you see the, the class 2 in the right side. Look at the big overjet that I have here. It's amazing. Also, the, the several class 2 that I have in the right side. And look that we have, we don't have lateral overjet. So it's impossible at the beginning to solve a class 2 if you don't create and you, you don't develop the arc shape in the upper arc. Okay? Look at the rotation also that we have in the upper in the upper molars and the crowding. I'm going to solve the crowding in the lower arc, not doing proclination. I'm going to solve the crowding in the lower arc, doing expansion of the arcs and some IPR. Okay. So remember that uh, at the end you have to control all these minimum things, all these minimum details, and uh, controlling all these things is how you can solve these all these things. Okay. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm doing the arc shape development in the upper arc. I solve the crowding in the lower arc doing some IPR, expansion, IPR, no lower proclination at the end, Virtonium. Okay? When I plan the refinement, okay, look that I have solved completely. This is at the beginning of the refinement. I have solved almost completely the, the class two in the left side. I have some class 2 in the right side so I'm going to 
work a little bit more here. I take a new scanner. I did a little bit more the arc shape development in the upper arc. The patient continued using class two elastics. And this is what I'm looking for. This, uh, this adjustment, this final adjustment of the occlusion wearing class two elastic, really light, maybe three ohms of elastic, really, really light elastics. And the final result that we obtain, look at this amazing final result of the case where I achieve a perfect class one occlusion in the upper and the lower arc, good engagement. I control perfectly the proclination of the lower incisors. I develop perfectly the arc shape Look at this beautiful arc shape in the upper arc, and of course in the lower arc is coordinated with the lower with the upper arc. And how I change from this initial situation where the patient when the patient come look this over jet, and also you can see here in the picture the progression of the lower incisor. How we move from here to here, how I reduce the progression of the lower incisor, how I control everything good engagement, good class two, good vertical relationship, beautiful class one in both sides. I center the midline, remember that it was deviated, beautiful smile, full mouth smile. What I did in this case, I control the vertical position of the upper incisor and I, what I did is first I develop the arc shape in the upper arc and then I reduce okay, the proclination of the lower incisor. I reduce the proclination until I level uh, with the central incisor. I like to finish the, the position of the laterals like one millimeter shorter than central incisor. Okay? And the evolution of the case was from this situation and we move to this beautiful engagement and from this situation how I change the arc shape to this beautiful final position and of course the amazing change in the smile. So I want to share I wanted to share with you this this case in order to show you how powerful can be in this line if you understand the biomechanics of the system. Of course, we have to invest a lot of time in working with the clean check. I, I think in this case, I did about six, seven modifications of the clean check and invest maybe a couple hours sitting with the computer, making changes, okay? And well, for me, it's like a, like a, like a present to have at the end these beautiful results because this, this person, you know, He's, she's really happy, um, her parents are really happy, and you know, we, we, we add value to the people just using uh, this amazing uh, orthodontic treatment that is called Invisalign. So I hope you enjoyed the case. Thank you very much for, for being here with me. Please help me to to share the, my knowledge with, with, with more and more people. So if you like what I'm doing with Invisalign, I will appreciate if you share it with your colleagues or with your friends. And of course, you can follow me in my YouTube channel. And you can, of course, uh, send me an email to drdiegopedro at clinicapedro.s. And for me, it will be a big pleasure to, to, to answer you. and to share all my knowledge with you and thank you very much for being there and see you really soon. Bye bye.